that we're going to come and try some churros over here. All right, so let's do this. Yeah. All right, so like I told you, we got our churros. I have where it says no cooking. Nice and hot too, fresh. Try this um, spicy chicken kebab. Look at it, guys. You can see the sauce dripping. Mm, my mouth is watering already. Look at this. Mm. So delicious, guys. Wow. Tourist approved. We're here in South Korea trying to find this amazing um, cafe. So come with us. It's kind of crazy, but. So, this is the Makeup Cafe. We're gonna go up and check it out and see what they got. Alright, so come with us, guys. Let's go up. Once you get upstairs, the first thing you do is put your belongings in the free lockers they have upstairs. After that, you take off your shoes and put on the free slip-ons they have. That way you don't take any germs inside. This place is called a meerkat cafe, but they actually have other animals. As you can see, they have a raccoon. And the good thing is you get to touch them too. They also have some dogs playing around, some cats, a wallaby, and a fox. It's amazing to see raccoons interact with humans because in New York City, you don't see that. The handlers give you some treats, which the animals love. That way, it makes it easy for you to interact with them, just like I'm doing. They had two foxes, a brown one and a white one. As you can see, they love their treats. After interacting with the foxes, I made my way upstairs with my funny looking slippers I got from them to go check out the meerkats upstairs. Once you get upstairs, if you want to interact with the meerkats, they give you hand sanitizer. You clean your hands, take off your slippers and walk into the meerkat enclosure. Once you get in, you have a seat. They give you this little blanket, which you cover your legs with. And you're ready to play with the meerkats. The advice, you only take in your cell phone, but do not keep keys or anything in your pocket, not even coins. Because the meerkats will dig in your pocket and whatever they find, they will put in their mouth and that can kill or choke them and due to the popularity of the meerkats you only allow to interact with them for 10 minutes then they allow the next group of people to come in if you really love wildlife this is a cool place to visit 
And by the way, the blankets you see on our lap, they are not washed after use. All customers use the same blankets over and over again. Check out this cat with this beautiful body print. They also had this guinea pig like animal running around. Can somebody tell me what animal this is in the comment section? You also get a chance to come up close and personal with a wallaby. This animal I really like. It looks just like a kangaroo. I just finished exploring the Meerkat Cafe here in Seoul, South Korea. Um, it's kind of like a zoo, but they call it a cafe. One, when one says a cafe, you think there's um, what you call it? There's um, coffee or hot chocolate and stuff like that. But it's nothing like that. It's just it's called a cafe, but it's it's like a zoo, a zoo in an apartment kind of you know but at least they have um juices if you want to buy a juice or something and it's about 11 dollars per person to get in all right um everybody thinks differently but um i didn't see them treating animals bad or anything some people might not like it some people might like it but um i heard about it i just wanted to come and see what it was like all right so come and see it for yourself and judge yourself all right thanks for watching